What's up, guys? So, as promised, here's an update on the K5. Um, first thing I'm going to do is start with some things that I haven't done yet that I'm getting ready to do. <clears throat> and then uh, we'll go over some of the things that I just got done, having done. Anyways, um, I've been... Since ever since I bought the blazer, I've been deciding on how I'm going to paint it, what color I'm going to paint it. Um, and I've been trying to decide if I'm going to have it professionally painted or if I'm just going to paint it myself. And a few weeks ago, uh, I came to the conclusion that I'm going to just try to paint this thing myself. because Mainly because I can, and it's going to be cheap, and if it doesn't turn out good... Then I can always have it professionally painted, but I figured I'd try it just for the hell of it. So, um, I watched, I saw a video a few weeks ago, um, this guy posted a, a picture and some videos of his K5 and he had, and then one of the, as soon as I saw it, I'm like, I love that color. That's the color I want to paint my truck. And sure enough, the first comment on that video was, Hey, what's the paint code for that, for, for the color? And he answered the guy, so I got the paint paint code and went ahead and ordered um, ordered twelve cans of this. It's basically three eighty three green. It's, uh, it's a military green. I'll post up a picture right here so you can see what it looks like. So I bought a case of that, and then unlike what I did the first time when I primered it gray, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put some clear matte over top of that. So I got two cases of this. My buddy Chuck is going to help me do this. He's done some painting before. So he kind of knows the procedure. I believe we're going to paint it and uh, wet sand it and then clear coat it. So hopefully that will kind of protect it from fading from the sun. Because you know how the sun here is here in Vegas. It's brutal. So anyways, um, that's what I got going on with that. So after I decided that I was going to paint the blazer. I was like, well, if I'm going to do that, I definitely want to paint the inside of the door jams and anywhere else that there's this yellow. So, uh, I started ordering all new inner door panels. So I've got new panels, which I'll show you here in a minute. Um, armrest, the strap, I didn't order the little purse here because I don't really like that thing anyways. But I got new door handles, new window cranks, everything. Um, I'll probably end up replacing, when we do the panel, re replace all this rubber here on both sides. <clears throat> and try to get rid of, you know, all the yellow. Also, I did want to add one thing. Um, since I'm starting on some of the interior stuff, I might as well just go ahead and do the rest of it. So... <clears throat> Been looking at seats, been looking at some PRP seats. Um, I can get uh, two daily driver bucket seats that have um, the holes for harnesses and everything uh, for about 350 bucks a piece, I believe they are. I'll show you a picture of those right here. Um, but I don't know if I'm going to get those because they're not adjustable and I don't know. I mean, the ones I have in here now are non-adjustable, but at least they slide forward and back. I don't know if I can make those do that or not. Um, but I'm just still in the early processes of trying to figure out if that's what I'm going to do. Um, the other thing I... So after the doors are done and the visor's done, I don't know if I'm going to do a headliner or not. I just leave this. I'm not sure. But yes, uh, all the dash components will be being replaced like slowly but surely. Um gonna go with as you saw with the door panels are black probably do a black dash um and i think i'm gonna leave the tan on the bottom here it doesn't bother me uh, it might it'll be a little bit of a contrast with the green because you will see the green i'm not going to cover uh the bottoms of the doors anyways just wanted to add that in here real quick so here's what i got from lmc Got the new door panels, the new armrests, new straps, door handles, window cranks, all the hardware. Um, I also have uh, the trim pieces that go here. It's a billet 
a billet trim that goes there. Um, I'm going to kind of leave it kind of, that's the only kind of fancy shit that I ordered was that billet trim. I don't want to put a lot of chrome or anything on it. Um, I also have an order, which I don't have yet, uh, new, uh, sun visors. And I did order finally, um, the blazer emblems that go here. So I'll be putting those on. <clears throat> so let me show you what I got done. Uh, I just got the truck back yesterday. Took it over to my buddy John's shop. Um, he's the guy that rebuilt my 14 bolt um, before we put it on the truck. So the Dana 60 that I got, I got from Boyce Equipment in Ogden, Utah. Um, they went and grabbed it off the ground, threw it on a pallet, and shipped it here. And we did absolutely nothing to that axle except put my new diff cover on it and bolt it on the truck. I've never done anything to it. It already had the right gears in it. The brakes were completely shot. Um, but i just been running it like, I mean, it stopped, but it was just horrible. So, um, as you guys know, I've been talking about getting a new locker, um, so I finally decided on the Eaton E-Locker after <clears throat> a couple months of going back and forth on what kind of locker I was going to get. And I talked to all my buddies and that was the conclusion we came up with. So um took the axle over to my buddy John's shop and um I figured while he's got the axle tore apart to do the locker, I might as well go ahead and do the brakes. So I had him do the brakes. Um, he put... uh all new brakes, um, tore the axle apart, put the locker in, new bearings, new U-joints. <clears throat> and I'm sure you guys have seen, every time I show you the underside of this truck before, you could see my old rickety uh, trans cooler lines. So I had him actually run me new lines, which you can see there. They're all tucked up under the cross member. Goes back to the transmission. Super clean. Totally out of the way now. Um, just, he did an awesome job. The dude is, he's, he's freaking awesome. He had the truck for about a week, but they were kind of out of town for a few days. So, but he does really good work. Super nice guy. So I'm stoked. I haven't had a chance to go out and try the locker yet, but trust me. Um, I will. So, I'll show you how they... He's got a relay. It's kind of hard to see with the sun there. Um, there's a relay there. The wiring goes around over to here to a fuse and right to the battery. And then I'll show you the switch on the inside. switch right there really not a lot of room in a blazer to mount eh, I guess there's room under here but I guess that was an easy easy place to put it so <clears throat> anyways he did a really good job and it was very reasonable and you guys know me I can do some things but there's a lot of things that I can't do so you know if you want to, if you want to get shit done you have to pay for it anyways um, hope you guys are all doing well I will uh, keep you guys updated on the paint job. I think we're going to start. Oh, one more thing. Um, we were going to try to fix this fender and this door. So it's really only the dramatic. The, the, this is the worst body damage on the truck. And then I decided yesterday that I'm probably just going to order a door and a fender from LMC. Because not. they don't cost that much. So easier to do that than try to fix those. But uh, yeah, I'll be painting up underneath the hood everything. So I'm stoked. Um, anyways, I'll keep you guys updated on the paint job. Probably going to start doing that here in the next few weeks after I get all the rest of my parts. <clears throat> and we'll go from there. Anyways, hope you guys are having a good day. And everyone's safe. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Later.